Man, feels weird being inside one of these. Thanks for letting me tag along, Gary. Not a problem, James. And thank you for the edibles. Yeah, uh, I was actually surprised to hear you operate this thing while stoned. For me, it makes me sharper. Like a night owl, hunting its prey beneath the snow, scurrying rodents. Yeah, owls are cool. <laughs> I know how to speak owl, actually. I can speak, it's an old joke. I know I don't usually contact you to just hang out, but since Ellis got married, he doesn't really want to go out as much, and like, I always thought you could be kind of fun to hang out with, right? You're kind of a lone wolf guy, and I know... I'm not sure what type of friend you're looking for, but I must state up front, I can only be me. I don't change for anyone. I'm Gary. Until the end. I'm not asking you to change, Gary. I was just bored and Ellis made some fish last night and it stunk up the whole building. It smells like shit. I once ate so much fish, I got mercury poisoning. I hate fish. Gross. Do you remember David Garrett from high school? We didn't go to the same high school, Gary. Well, that red car up ahead is his. Whoa, holy shit! David Garrett joined my softball team two years ago. We played Thursday nights, traveled out of state for tournaments, stayed at hotels with swimming pools. Really great memories were made. But then, this last summer, David Garrett kicked me off the team. Replaced me with Tony Suarzo, who happened to be the same Tony Suarzo who locked me in the girls' bathroom freshman year. I loved playing softball. Now David Garrett doesn't have a car anymore. Look, I think most people right now would be actually pretty terrified of you. But if I'm being completely honest, you are my goddamn hero. Hey, I noticed you have a notebook next to you. That wouldn't be a... It's a list of names. Yup, fucking right. It's a list of names of people who made the wrong decision at some point. I call it the Dupa List. And David Garrett was a Dupa. I have a dupa list too. But mine doesn't have a snowplow. Oh, I wish I had a snowplow. If I did, my God, how things would be different. Give me an example. What would you do if you had a snowplow? When I asked you... What would you want to do with a snowplow? I guess I thought you would want to exact sweet revenge on your foes. But a really big sledding hill in Target parking lot is pretty cool, too. Yeah, you know what, Gary? I'm, I'm trying to not be such a demon all the time, you know? I'm trying to control my anger and make better choices and uh, stop being butthurt all the time, basically. Yeah. Well, good for you, James. Personal growth is the hardest growth. <laughs> it's kind of funny. What is funny? You said hardest growth. I did. I now get the joke. If you don't mind, I think I'm going to take a little trip down Target Mountain. Me too, Gary. We. Hey Gary, I had a lot of fun tonight. Thanks for letting me hang out and uh, help you plow. 
Not a problem, James. I had a pretty sweet time, too. <laughs> Chet, Gary, you hit someone. I know. You don't recognize Tony Suarzo? Oh, that's right. You didn't go to our high school.